Good morning, everyone. Thanks for watching this today. My name is Matt Garrison, one of the pastors here at Bible Center. And today's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're talking to dads today. And so dads, uh, when it comes to our kids, I want you to think back to a time when you got them something that they really wanted. Uh, they had a need and maybe it was Christmas time. I remember all of my kids at, during Christmas time in particular, when they wanted something very specific. And I remember when I got them that, or my wife and I, we got them the toy or whatever electronic that they, that they wanted. To see their expression on their faces was priceless to me. It's a memory that I'm always going to have. And so maybe you're like me and you have some of those memories, but there's also some other memories that we're gonna look at that we may have that as we get into Mark chapter nine, that um, is kind of the opposite. Have you ever found yourself in a place where when it comes to your children, you can't help them. You feel helpless. And so the ev real life event that happens in the life of Jesus that we're gonna look at today from Mark chapter nine, we're gonna pick up in verse 14 says this, when they returned to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd surrounding them and some teachers of religious law were arguing with them. When the crowd saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with awe and they ran to meet him. What's all this arguing about, Jesus asked. One of the men in the crowd spoke up and said, Teacher, I brought my son so you could heal him. He is possessed by an evil spirit that won't let him talk. And whenever the spirit seizes him, it throws him violently to the ground. Then he foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. So I asked your disciples to cast the evil spirit out, but they couldn't. And so Jesus said to them, You faithless people, how long must I be with you? How long must, must I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought the boy. When the evil spirit saw Jesus, it threw the child into a violent convulsion, and he fell to the ground, writhing and foaming at the mouth. I want to pause right there. Imagine your child. That, that, imagine that is your child. You're feeling helpless. There's nothing you can do in that moment. Imagine what this father is thinking about his son. How long has this boy been, how long has this been happening to the boy? Jesus asked. Since he was a little boy, the Spirit often throws him into the fire or into water trying to kill him. Have mercy on us and help us if you can. I mean, I cannot imagine the grief that this father has been going through. His little boy, since this is what's happening, since he was a small child, we don't know his exact age right now and really when this started happening, but we know that it was since he was a really small child up to this present day, he was still considered a boy and the helplessness that this father felt. There was nothing he could do. And so what does Jesus say to this man as he cries out for help saying, have mercy on us and help us if you can, Jesus. And Jesus replies to him, what do you mean if I can? Anything is possible if a person believes. And I love this father's response. He says, he cries out immediately, I do believe, but help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw the crowd of onlookers was growing, he rebuked the evil spirit. Listen, you spirit that makes this boy unable to hear and speak, he said. I command you to come out of this child and never enter him again. Then the spirit screamed and threw the boy into another violent convulsion and left him. The boy appeared to be dead. A murmur even was running through the crowd that said he is dead. But Jesus went over, took him by the hand, and helped him up, and he stood up. So the encouragement for us today, dads, is when we find ourselves helpless, kind of like we are right now in this pandemic, there's, we can do our part by staying home, but really there's not a whole lot that we can do. And so when it comes to our children, we find ourselves in times where we feel helpless. The thing that Jesus reminds us to do is to have faith, to believe that all things are possible with Jesus. And as his dads kind of confess, he says, listen, I do believe, but help my unbelief. Jesus didn't rebuke the dad for that. Instead, I, I feel it was this, this raw emotion of, I love my son, I love him, and I want you to help him, Jesus, because you're the only one that can help him. And so today, as we're talking to our kids and our family about the things that are going on in our society today with this pandemic, let's lead by example, dads, that, hey, you know what? We're going to cry out to Jesus. We're going to look to Jesus in prayer. And we're going to trust his power and his presence that he's going to be with us no matter what. Thanks for watching.